Radio, the men's 5,000 at the Southland Conference indoor meet. Um, first event of the day. And yeah, I felt awful. Pretty much the whole race had kind of been very surgy, very on and off. My team at Evan Pardo had taken it out early. And from there, we kind of started jogging some 36s, a few three minute Ks. Um, this is 400 to go. You got Enoch Kemitai and Kelvin Kameo, the one two there, both 14 teen guys. Um, and then you can see here, I'm trying to make a move. Um, I did not look or feel good this whole race, but you know, I still was. You know, I kind of feel like I'm the athlete nowadays where, you know, I should be up there and I, I need to act like it. And even though I wasn't feeling good, I chucked myself to the front. I was like, all right, try and run this thing a little bit at least off the legs. But you see how smooth Dennis looks there. 1356 guy, nine time conference champion. And yeah, this really made me mad. The hand gesture. I see that in the race and I'm like, come on, Hanson, fight, fight. But nah, mate, I was already going as fast as I can. I couldn't, I couldn't move the legs any faster. And, Dennis is absolutely just rolling here, just as easy as you'd like. His teammate, Kelvin Kameo, trying to do a bit of a textbook George on him. And there's a really good five for third here between Ronaldo and Justice. Um, but yeah, Dennis just easily cruises to the line here to take his another 5K indoor cha uh, championship. And yeah, I was really disappointed with my fifth place. A big improvement, but I was coming back for vengeance in the 3K. Right, yeah, welcome back to vlog part two. 3k today i would have shaken yeah. out it's gonna do a mile i feel like ass it's time to lock in though <laughs> my hips got really locked up after the fight but i'm actually not feeling bad on the shake and yeah no in good spirits uh definitely something to prove as well after my dismal performance yesterday <laughs> this bike though popped yeah, off the rest of my life so know. locked in he's uh he's in for a good one as well can't let him beat me today Nah, we're gonna take it with 800 to a K to go this time. Not gonna leave as much a chance. Not gonna leave as much to a kick, so. That's the race plan, I'm gonna eat. I'll probably have another nap as well. And then, yeah, racing at like two, so. <laughs> day two um gonna whip the the on 10,000s for the 3k i've been working out on them a lot and i really like them and i haven't raced them yet so you know change it up because i uh, yeah i'm not letting what happened to me yesterday happening in today yeah so oh not gonna be good it's gonna be a rough one today <laughs> bro has never done the backup before it is tough but i keep on telling him like even physiologically, like delayed onset muscle soreness or DOMS, like you've got that 24 hour to 72 hour period and it hasn't quite been that yet. So yeah, no, we, we'll be right. You can you can do backups pretty easy, I think. That's why double threshold works. Just go lock in. Just go lock in. Just a reminder, bro, 6,000 Ks last year. We're gonna hit like 10,000 this year. I'm doing 150 mile weeks after this race. I'm never getting beaten by a in every year. So with that, nitric oxide down the hatch. Radio. So the men's 3000 at the Southland Conference indoor meet. Um, at the lead, you've got Alexander Fetazone from UIW, 820 man himself, myself in second, Evan Pardo in third. And then we're going to have the usual uh, suspects, Justice, who came third in the 5K, Dennis, who won the 5K. And then his uh yeah quartet of Kenyans behind him as well. Going into this, I was 
yeah, very, very keen to, you know, make up for, you know, some woes in the in the 5,000. And I was feeling much better this day as well. I felt way better in the shakeout, way better in the warm-up. Heart rate was lower. I was a lot more relaxed as well. I kind of knew, you know, what I had to do this time, what I had to do differently, which is exactly what I said in the shakeout clip. I wanted to take it with, um, you know, 800, 1K to go instead of leaving it a bit last minute. So this is the mile split. We go through in about 431, 430. So the pace is on, but not super quick. We're kind of just hovering just under 830. There was a bloke, um, Kelvin Cameo, who came second in the 5K, who ran uh, 827 in the second heat. So we had a little bit of pressure to make sure we weren't jogging. Uh, right around 2K, Evan Pardo, he decides he's had enough and he started to take it. You can see Dennis there, the winner of the 5K. He's also reactive to the move. And then you've also got Enoch and Ronaldo, who have also kind of gone with the move. And you've kind of got a pack of seven or eight there now with Freddie Richardson, who's a 402 miler. He's uh, cruising at the back there. A tough backup after, yeah, obviously the mile final. He would have run a few hours before. So yeah, this is with 800 to go. Um, I was feeling really comfortable, just like absolutely cruising. And I was like, all right, you know, it's 800 to go. It's time to go. And yeah, obviously, as soon as I make that move, Dennis, super reactive to it. He knows what he's doing. He's a nine-time conference champion. He's been there, done that. So, you know, you already know he's uh, what his plan is. He's just going to be doing the classic sit and kick. See Coach Clayton there trying to tell me to get it, get it moving, get it moving. And yeah, definitely what I was trying to do. So we ran a 33 the lap before. That was a 32. And going into 600 to go, I really had to start, yeah, crunching it down to, yeah, try and shake him off or at least run the kick out of his legs because I have think I've done enough mileage now. I've done enough double thresholds, all that kind of stuff that, you know, I can... I can send this hurt locker and still kick off it kind of thing. So yeah, here we go. Coming up to 400 to go. Yeah, we're moving now. That was a 31 second lap. So we're 400 to go. He's still right on my tails. Justice is uh, in third place now. Ronaldo coming through. Pardo still holding on decently. And Josh Johnson, my uh, Australian counterpart as well, coming through there. He's in eighth. But yeah. With 300 to go, he's still right on me. And at this point, I'm thinking, oh, man, he's still there. I can hear him breathing down my neck, breathing down my neck. And I'm really trying to – I'm putting it to him now. I'm like, all right, got to get going, got to get going. And hearing that bell, and he was still there, I was like, is it going to be a repeat of yesterday? Surely not. I can't I can't let it happen again. I'm not going to let it happen again. And right here, I was like, I just run a 30. And I was like, all right, I've got, I've got one more move in me. Bang, 150 to go. I'm like – there, the hand gesture. The hand gesture was out this time, but it was the, you know, maybe maybe the uh, opposite of what he would have wanted. He was telling me to go. And, uh, yeah, and this time I actually did go. So there you go. Coming down the home straight. Had to hit the celly. A little bit of a slow mo. Man, this was honestly one of the coolest moments I've ever had. I wasn't supposed to win this race. But guess what? I did. And you can see just how surprised I am. Mason, my teammate, everyone gets around it. It was just an awesome feeling. You see how kind of shocked I am. I'm like, what just happened? I And I was like, Dennis, mate, my bad. Griffin, mate, he's given it a few cracks as well. He's come second to him a few times. And I think we're all just glad that, you know, someone finally got him. Fuck. I can't believe that just happened, but... I won. Man, really won. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. Stop it. It's, it's Josh. <laughs> the freshman, Josh, held on for a point. But, dude, I don't know what just happened. I uh, I was feeling really good in the warm-up. Way better than I did for the 5K. Heart rate was low. I felt good in the pickups, like the Jakob Britain threshold. You know, a little pre-race warm-up, whatever. And, yeah, no, I just... I sat on. I was really focused on the guy singling in front of me. One of the UIW guys was pacing. He was kind of just going out in 67s. And I felt super comfy. And I was like, all right. Uh, as I kind of said, like, I was going with five, four laps to go. And my teammate Pardo came around me with a K to go. Ran, like, another 33. And then I was like, all right, it's time to go. And when I went, I just, I don't know. Like, I just felt really good. And every lap, I just slowly increased it. Then I, like, looked at the Jumbotron. And I had a gap. And I was like, man. Like, I've only got Dennis on me, and Dennis doesn't lose at conference. I don't know. Kate, you've been around for a while. How many times has he lost at conference? 
I've never seen him have that back and remember. Yeah, so pretty much unbeatable. He's run 13.52. Like, this is someone I shouldn't be beating. And, uh, dude, I just I just took it to him. You know, I ran a, ran a 33, 32, a 31, a 30, a 29. And, yeah, just closing 234 for the K. And, man, just felt unreal. And, obviously, it helps. Like, you feel good when you when you know, like, you, you're there and you're thereabouts. And, you, uh, man, I just fronted it. And, yeah, got the goal for it. So, yeah, I mean probably a good time to announce as well that yeah um i'm looking to transfer so i'm gonna be on the transfer portal so this is actually my last race for you or no but like obviously it's a great way to end like what has been like and my probably the best year and a half of my life um and you know coach oc i owe everything to coach ben owe everything to and uh yeah no just super grateful for the opportunities i got given here gone to boston gone to vanderbilt and even coming today here today um you know, after a slightly disappointing race in the 5K and everyone still had all that belief in me. So, um, yeah, I just want to thank everyone at UNO. And there's still going to be a lot more coming. Um, I've got an unattached season, which I planned. I'll be all around the country trying to, you know, rip some fast outdoor time. So you won't, this won't be the last time you see me uh, in Louisiana or New Orleans. But, yeah, no, um, what a great way to end kind of what has been an amazing few, like, year and a bit here. So, yeah, no. Super stoked and yeah, gonna enjoy it now. So here we go, bus ride back.